pass, and he's right there to knock it away. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down around the 35-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. Pad protection now scrambles. He's going to go for the home run. Almost intercepted. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. Throws a bullet over the middle. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. It's possible that we could see him eclipse one of the most storied passing records in all of college football. He's been putting up monster numbers for a while now, but there's been a lot of improvement since he was first named the starter. His game has come a long way. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. They come out on an empty backfield. That's a great tackle at the 30. Harris gained seven yards with a catch there. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. This is the ninth play of this drive, so an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Rolls to the right. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line, second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Receiver touchdown. He's under some heat, and he's hit before he could go anywhere. Now he can add another achievement to his fantastic career the NCAA record for passing yards. Didn't we know when we first saw this guy take a snap that he put up some incredible numbers? He's always looked the part of a record breaker. They come out in a five wide set. Caught open field. And he's tackled at the 31. Morales leads him down the 31 yard line. From the 31 yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's in trouble. And down he goes at the seven. That makes it first and goal. Jack, Jack, Thunder! Thunder! Swings it out there incomplete. We've got second and goal. Ball on the seven. He's on the run, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. He's been running the ball into the end zone ever since he enrolled here. These fans know they've been lucky to have a guy. He's one of the best they've ever had. Washington State is up by a touchdown. Now he's scrambling. And now he's got his back with some room. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. So at the end of one, Washington State leads 
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Get to that quickly. Tackle at the 38. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. They'll spread the field with five wide. Going long. Swatted away. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second and 10. Ball on the 38. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 20-yard line. He looked pretty confident that time on the throw. Yeah, good throw. In the coverage, it looked like. And you're right. He seems well composed. Very sure of himself on that play. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. it to the middle of the field. He's tackled in the open field. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He goes downtown. And he stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one. Washington State is up a score. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They'll bring him down at the 29. Washington State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 29-yard line. First down. Quick throw. Almost intercepted. Jackson, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Five wide. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Heading for the corner. And he's taken down around the 50-yard line. From the 50. It's first down. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Scrambling around. He lets it fly. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Brought down at the 32. Washington State's out of timeout. That makes it first and ten. Larry, Larry. Washington State holds an eight-point advantage. He chucks it downfield. This one will fall incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He heaves it to the end zone. Missed him. So we played two quarters. Washington State. And he hits him hard at the 29 yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball in the 29. They'll line up with five wide receivers. 
Tackle made round the 40 yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. He sails it long. He's hit and taken down. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. Check, 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 check. Roger, Roger. Washington State up seven points. Quick pass. He's pushed out of bounds at the 23. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. First down. From their own 23-yard line. First down. Quick throw. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. Play action. Heading for the corner. And they push him out around the 43-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. The Cougars wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 35. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. He scrambled. From the 35-yard line. Second down. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. So now it's first and goal after the big pass play. Finds the tight end for a touchdown. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to try and scramble. Looking for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 39-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Caught with room to work. And down he goes at the 50-yard line. Baker with the tackle, 50-yard line. First down. First down grab by the receiver. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled around the 16-yard line. Gain of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10. Jack, Jack, thunder! Thunder! Let's go! Let's go! It's complete. Touchdown! 
on Washington State. This team has so many potent weapons. There's one of them to stop. Just over two minutes in the game. Right around the 44-yard line. Let's give some credit to the big boys up front. They held off the blitz just long enough for the quarterback to make the connection and pick up some good yards. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. He's on the run. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. The Ducks taking their first time out of the half. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. He's under pressure. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Oregon will take their second time out of the half. They'll bring him down to the 24-yard line. Oregon's called their final timeout from the 24-yard line. First down. Here's a throw and it's almost picked. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Room around the corner. Huge play and it's going to be first and goal. That's a game of 17. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six weasel. points here. Just under two to go in the game. And he's taken down around the three-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. The whipped cream on the top of this. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. You'll go down to one knee. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Well, the offensive guns were ablaze all day, and it came down to who had one more shot. 56. Washington State, 56. And Oregon, 42. Ducks. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? I thought this would have been a little closer than the scoreboard indicates. Maybe that says something about how good a game they played. Washington State had a really tough matchup coming in, but they were prepared, motivated, and came away with a really solid win.